Welcome React Native Developers. The moment you have been waiting for is finally here. I conducted a poll and most of you people were curious about this tutorial. Today we are unveiling the most anticipated tutorial on our channel. Get ready to revolutionize your React Native app with seamless OTP input fields. Say goodbye to complex designing and logic pattern for the split OTP input fields and say hello to this easy implementation of OTP fields as per your convenience. For the people who have already followed along in our previous video tutorials, they might know that we developed this bottom sheet model in our previous tutorial. For our new users, they can just uh, visit if they want to uh, see the tutorial, they can visit the link is populating on the right corner of your screen. We will be continuing from this bottom sheet and we will be implementing the inf fields in this bottom sheet model. So for that, let's clear out the area first. We'll clear out this area. So, and we will write the text right here. So for this we will be using this package called react native text input OTP. So this is a newly published package and it has a size of just 13 KB. So it's just like a stock package and it doesn't have any dependency of any other package. So we will follow the steps as mentioned in its documentation. If anybody of you want to see the documentation, I will be sharing the link in the comment section below or in the description of the box of the video. So firstly, we will install this package. After installing, we have to import this OTP text input. And this OTP text input component that we imported, it it has uh, these three mandatory fields which have to be defined. One is this OTP, the OTP uh, state variable. Another is the set OTP. It is the function that will update this OTP state variable. And this digits is the number of uh, split fields we want in our app. So we will copy and paste this guy to save our time and we will create uh, these state variables as mentioned so otp and set set otp and we will set its default as empty for now so when we save it you can see that the input fields have been the split otp input fields have been populated as required so on the go the split otp in fields are just uh, integrated in our app in just few seconds in just few clicks so now the next step is to style these input field as per our design of the app so for that it comes with these props the digits these are for the number of input fields we want split input fields this style is to style the input fields that we get another one is for the font that comes inside of this input field and another is the focus style so we will cover this one by one firstly we will use this style prop so for style it takes style object and what we will do is we will give it a 
background color of white and we will give it a border top of zero border bottom of border right and left of zero right of zero we will just be having the bottom board so that's what we are defining here so for that to see the change we will have to remount this component oh sorry we have to write the width i have misspelled the width that's why it's not border top width border right width and border left width of zero and to see the changes we will have to remount this model so we can see that all the borders have gone uh, and we have only the bottom border we can just style it any way we want and we can have a border bottom width of a bit width of two width of two and we'll have to remount this component to see the change so like this now another one is the font style if you want to style the font which comes inside of these input fields we can style that too from the font style i will use this prop font style font style and it also takes a style object for the fonts and here font weight i will define as bold and font size i will define as 20 and when we will relaunch the model we will see that the font size has changed and it's implemented as required we will just increase size a bit like 25 yes looking nice another prop that it comes with is focus style this focus style prop what it says that it's the style of field when it is in focus right now when we see our input fields we don't have track where our cursor or our uh, pointer is at that moment so for that we can have this focus style is it focus style or focused style focused style so for focus style we will have border color of green or we will have it like blue that's already there this blue color that will be good as it will match the design of the app so and we save it and relaunch the model you can see that this blue color of the border color of the current input field is displayed properly so when we are on to the next element it will show up accordingly so for anyone who wants the code for this tutorial, I will be pinning down this uh, snack URL in the uh, description box so you can uh, check it from there. Uh, it will have this uh, preview window right at the this expo snack has comes with this preview window where you can check the output even you can run it on your Android or your iOS device so it's quite handy thing 
for just testing out the things so you can check it from here so like this we have implemented our input fields you can style any way you want uh, according to your convenience because you can pass any style object to style these input fields uh, matching the design of your app so you don't have any limitation of the design you can design it in any way and there you have it the most awaited tutorial on the otp inputs in react native we have completed this like share and subscribe for more groundbreaking react native tutorials coming your way so let's ease the coding together till then bye bye happy coding